Hey, hey, YouTube. California Prepper here. I have been tagged. I've been tagged by my buddy Poison Stinger, and he's actually tagged me for this uh, pretty cool tag video that's going around. It's uh, three go-to home defense weapons. Now, I've seen a couple other people switch it up just a little bit different, and uh, I'm going to do the same. I could show you my handgun and my shotgun and you know a nice big knife and say you know those are my go-to home defense weapons but that would be too easy I kinda wanna do something a little more than that uh, I've also seen a lot of people show their dogs which I was thinking about showing my dog but that would just go along with everybody else and I wanna be original and do my own thing so um, this is what I've come up with you guys have probably seen a lot of this in my past videos but this is what I keep my castle safe with um, if it's not the guns or the dog, it's this stuff. Um, these are my three uh, first go-to weapons that are mainly found throughout my house. Almost in every room you will find, you know, pretty much one of these objects. You'll find a blunt object to beat the heck out of someone. Most likely you're going to find a taser and some pepper spray. If not, also a knife. Uh, it's just how I am I don't wanna get caught with my pants down so to speak and you know be caught say you know I could be in the bathroom when someone kicks down my door what am I gonna do you know just because I'm in the bathroom I have to give up and die no I wanna be able to protect myself and at least have a fighting chance to get to uh, my firearms so I'd love to have a gun in every room but right now that's just not possible so what I do have in every room is uh, we're usually within distance to our keys. One of us will have our keys somewhere, and on both of our key rings, we have pepper sprays. I also have a buttload of other crap on mine, but at least we have our pepper sprays. Uh, there's also two other of these uh, pocket keychain sized pepper sprays that are floating around my house. They're up where my kids can't get them. But right where the wife knows where to get them. And there's also, I have, I've got a five pack of these 300,000 watt tasers. And they're pretty nasty little buggers. They have a flashlight mode and a tase mode. And what's cool about them, anytime they get low on charge, you pop it out the back, you plug it right into the wall, and you're good to go. Um, these things are pretty nice to have. Uh, especially if <clears throat> you have a wife that likes to go on walks. My wife, uh, we have two dogs, so, you know, uh, our smaller dog has to go out, you know, every couple hours. So if one of us, if I'm asleep and she has to take the dog out, she takes one of these everywhere. If mo most times she'll leave her knife behind and take this and just a proper spray, which I'm happy she even does that. But we have five of these, and one of these is usually in her purse. One's usually with me, and then we have three hidden around the house. That, uh, and I also uh, keep them charged. I have a, a routine that I do with them and switch them all out. But like I said, there's three hidden around my house in multiple spots uh, to where we can get to them. There's two of these pepper spray uh, cans. I have a home defense pepper spray can. And if you really want to get nasty, we have the bear pepper spray. This is bear mace, and this stuff is nasty. I think it's like 30% OC spray. Um, just be careful. Do not use this unless it is a life or death situation because you can get in trouble for excessive force for using this on a human. I've seen it happen. Don't get in trouble for, you know, using it unless it was an actual extreme uh, emergency because you can get in trouble and may even uh, be sued and serve jail time for uh, using that on somebody. Last but not least, so this is one pepper spray, two the tasers, and last but not least the old school bludgeoning object. This thing right here, blunt force trauma to the dome piece. This is my all aluminum baseball bat as you can see it has some damage to it what's so special about this bat it's very light and it's missing the end cap Let's see if you guys can see that it's missing the end cap so if you caught one of those to the face or uh, 
something and this is pretty rough I've hit it on the ground and tried roughing it up pretty good um, I was thinking about cutting you know some ridges into it but I don't want it looking like a freaking uh, medieval freaking uh, weapon when uh, I have to go to court if I do have to defend myself with this so it looks more like a bat and hey it'll do the job it is very light and trust me this thing will do uh, some damage I've uh, done some damage with it uh, haven't broke any bones with it but I have done some damage with it and it's a pretty nice baseball bat pretty intimidating when it uh, comes out so those are my three go-to home defense items this is by the door at all times I got five tasers all together three hidden throughout the house one in the wife's purse and one on my person I have the multiple pepper sprays and the bear maces so those are my three go-to weapons excluding my firearms and knives of course which I always have a knife on me and if I'm at home most of the time I have a gun within arm's reach so I'm gonna give a couple tags here some people I'd like to see their opinions on this I'd like to see preppers union I'd like to see what you got going on for your home defense brother uh, let's see what you got going for your three go-to home defense weapons you could do it like me or you can show some guns if you choose also I'd like to see SASK tactical what do you got going on brother I know you got some cool guns but uh, what do you got going on other than that also I'd like to give a shout out maybe we can get this guy to do a vid and haven't seen one from him in a while let's give a shout out to Ricky Bobby 1099 those are gonna be the three guys that I tag for this uh, video and hopefully we'll keep it going thank you so much for tagging me poison stinger really appreciate it brother it was fun and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have some more in the future that's gonna do it tonight talk to you guys later California prepper out